right, so we've installed Aton Core to the PS Vita, we've downgraded it, we've installed Henkaku on the PS Vita, and in some people's cases, Aton Core on the PS Vita again. But I'm going to finally teach you how to install permanent custom firmware onto your PS Vita. Now, this applies to PS Vitas that are on uh, some kind of temporary custom firmware and are only on the firmware versions 3.60 and 3.65. If you're on any other firmware, you cannot do this. If you want to downgrade your PS Vita, please refer to my last video that I made. I will actually link that in the description if you want to downgrade your PS Vita to one of these firmwares so you can do this too. But I'll be teaching you how to install Enzo. Enzo is a VPK that will completely make your custom firmware permanent. Not permanent in the in the sense to where like it is there's no going back from this. Um you can actually use the same application to put it back to temporary custom firmware. But for those of you that want to turn on your PS Vita and keep it on custom firmware the minute that it turns on, like you don't have to keep on reactivating everything like on temporary custom firmware. This is the application for you. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Okay, so whether you're on 3.60 or 3.65, go ahead and activate either H Encore or Molecular Shell. Just go ahead into the application and go ahead and start it. Oh, my dumb self. <laughs> go ahead and install. It's gonna go ahead and install it for you. It just looks so better than H H Encore too. <laughs> so go ahead and go back into Molecular Show. And since we're already on unsafe mode, um, we're going to be doing the FTP server from the PSP. So we're going to go ahead and press select. And we're going to create our own FTP server. So your FTP server might say something different than this, but it probably isn't. So as you can see, it says FTP server is now running at FTP and whatever your FTP server is. Honestly, I think it's probably going to be the same. So go ahead and keep this menu open and we're going to go right back over to our PC. So here we are on everybody's favorite uh, PS Vita hacking guide website. This is VitaHacks.guide and this is the Enzo portion. So a big disclaimer and I mean this is probably the hugest disclaimer that I can put out to anybody. If you are on 3.60 or 3.65, you need to follow the 3.60 or 3.65 method because both of these Enzo applications are different. I repeat, both of these Enzo applications are different. If you install the wrong Enzo on your PS Vita, you are going to brick your console. Guaranteed, you will brick it. It will be unusable and it will be very hard to recover after that. So please take heed to what I am saying and I have to harp on you because I don't want anyone in the comment section talking about my PS Vita was bricked. I am literally telling you right now, if you are on 3.65, use the 3.65 method. If you are 3.60, use the 3.60 method. Please heed my words on this or your PS Vita will be dead. <laughs> I, can't, I can't stress this enough. I cannot stress this enough. So again, it, there's a reason it says 3.60 Enzo, and there's a reason it says 3.65 Enzo. These are two completely different applications. Please heed my words. So if you are on 3.65, please download the 3.65 uh, Enzo. And if you're on 3.60, go ahead and download the 3.60 Enzo. Since I'm on 3.60, I'm going to go ahead and download the 3.60 Enzo. So Enzo.vbk, going to go ahead and download it. And they want you to install some kind of a file uh, FTP client because again, if you're on Maduro, you have a molecular show, so you don't have Vita show necessarily. If you do have Vita show, more proud of you. But if you don't, I'm gonna also leave this uh, leave this application in the description or leave the link to this uh, GitHub in the in the uh, description of this video also. So go ahead and install Vita show, and they recommend you using one of these uh, FTP servers. I personally use Valzilla. If you want to use the same one that I'm using just to follow along with the video and everything, go ahead and download the Valzilla uh, client. Uh, if not, you can go ahead and use uh, one of these uh, FTP clients. It's, it's honestly the same thing as Valzilla, but I, I just personally use Valzilla because I already have them on my computer and it's completely free. So 
after you install FileZilla and everything and download all the files, we'll, we can go ahead and continue. Okay, so now that we've dragged and dropped all of our files to our um, to our computer, whether it's uh, on your desktop or whether it's in the folder like I did, um, you're gonna have the Modoru, or sorry, not the Modoru, you're gonna have the Vita Shell VPK. And the one thing that I forgot to grab was the actual Enzo VPK. So again, your Enzo VPK will be either for your firmware, which is on 3.60 or 3.65. If your PS Vita is on any other firmware or any other firmware, it's not going to work. And you have to have the correct Enzo file for your PS Vita. I cannot stress this enough. This is the point of no return right here. If you use the wrong Enzo VPK, you're going to mess up your PS Vita guaranteed. I am telling you this right now. So anyway, <laughs> Now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and open up our file client. Whether you download a FileZilla or whether you download one of the required ones, just go ahead and search it up in your search bar and go ahead and click on it. So as you can see, it's going to say a host name. Um, what that little FTP server that was on your PS Vita, you're going to type in the exact same thing. So FTP colon slash slash 192.168.1.26 and then colon 1337 and then you're going to go to quick connect and then just just go ahead and check mark this and press okay so now it's going to be displaying your UX0. So it's it's like Vita Show, but it's on an FTP client. Same same thing. So now we're going to not the Modero. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and drag and drop the Enzo VPK onto the PS Vita. Or sorry, we're going to go into the UX0 and drag and drop it on there. That was my apologies. It's it's the the um. FTP client was like, what are you doing? <laughs> We're gonna drop it right into there. So now you have Enzo VPK onto your UX UX0. And then you're going to go into or click on Vita Show and then drag and drop that one as well. So you don't have to deal with the FTP server anymore. And if you're on a, a PlayStation Vita TV or PS TV, I apologize, but your only method of transfer is definitely going to be <laughs> the uh, FTP server, unfortunately. So go ahead and close that out. And then we're going to go right back on to our PS Vita. All right, so we're back onto our PS Vita. We're gonna go ahead and close out the FTP server. And we're going to go ahead and close, not close out of the shell, sorry. <laughs> go back to the UX0. And then you're gonna find your Enzo VPK. Go ahead and install the package. Do you wanna install this package? Yes. Yes. Enzo might take a little while to install, by the way. Then you're going to go to vitashell.vpk. Install this package, yes. And yes. And now as a safety measure, go ahead and press the start button and reboot your system. And I tell you to reboot the system just so that you can have a fresh wipe on any application that was started and everything. So you can run Enzo smoothly without any errors because I've seen people immediately go to Enzo after and it always makes me bad because I've actually witnessed several people just mess up the PSV and mess up the process and the, and the process of actually doing it. So go ahead and restart your temporary custom firmware application. Mine would be Molecular Shell. I just like how it opens a window every single time. <laughs> and then it's gonna go ahead and install your uh, install your temporary custom firmware. Then I want you to go into settings and re-verify that in the Hancock settings that your enable unsafe homebrew is checkmark. Go ahead and close that. And now we're going to go into this new application right here called Enzo. 
So this this application scares a lot of people because they're like, why do you want to do this? So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So this software will make permanent modifications to your Vita. If anything goes wrong, there is no recovery, not even with, it's the same as Madero to be honest. Um, so press circle to accept these terms or any other key to not accept. So I'm gonna press circle button. Then it says options, circle, install or reinstall the hack. Triangle, uninstall the hack. So yes, you can actually use Enzo again to uninstall Enzo <laughs> and put it back on temp temporary custom firmware. So if you don't like temporary custom for whatever reason, you can actually uninstall it. So I'm gonna press the circle button to install it. Oh, and I I'll go over the other options too. So square to fix boot configurations, choose this if Taihan isn't loading on boot or circle exit without doing anything. So we're going to be pressing the X button to install. So uh, let me press the X button. Then it's going to go ahead and write Enzo onto the PS Vita. And again, please make sure that you've downloaded the right Enzo for your PS Vita. I'm telling you right now because once you press any key to reboot, your PS Vita is 100% not going to reboot. <laughs> It's just going to happen. And then you're going to see the new molecular shell um, picture pop up on your PS Vita. This is, that's what you want to see. So as soon as that pops up, congratulations, your PS Vita is now uh, permanently hacked. So if I were to go into settings and open up the start menu, and cockpit settings is already going to be there. My PS Vita just rebooted. So just to prove further, we're going to go ahead and go into Vita shell. Vita shell is automatically going to work. There's no need for me to reactivate my temporary custom firmware because we are already on custom firmware. What I am going to do, however, is make sure that my the unsafe homebrew is checked off, and it is. So we're going to go into V or sorry, <laughs> we're going to go into Vita shell again. I'm going to press the start button and go to reboot. So as you can see, when you reboot your PS Vita, you're going to see the molecular shell icon pop up again. Congratulations, your PS Vita is now on permanent custom firmware, so every time you boot up your system, you're automatically going to be on custom firmware. So if y'all enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like. Um, the next video that will be coming up will be how to set up your SD to Vita. Um, and this is Tech Nick, and I'll see you on the next video.